What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. We are back. We're doing some amazing things. Having an amazing time. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Also, huge shout out. Thank you guys for all the Patreons, all the supporters, absolutely everywhere. We streamed. We had an absolutely amazing time. So I'm going to catch you up on what we did. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Let's do this. So firstly, the Cyber Wagon. Let's talk about the Cyber Wagon. So we got the Cyber Wagon. I know there's lots of comments. Lots of people were like, don't get the Cyber Wagon. Well, they they adjusted a little bit. There was a patch. There was like a gig patch. And you can access it. You can put coal in it, which is actually absolutely hilarious because it's a Cyber Wagon, but it still requires fuel to operate. So I'm just going to let that sink in for a minute that the Cyber Wagon requires fuel. Anyways, this is what you get. Broken windows and all. Now, it is a vehicle you can absolutely drive. However, it drives absolutely terribly. So I'm going to tell you right now, just don't even don't even bother with it. It's more of a statement piece. It is absolutely hilarious. Also, you are like sitting below the cab. So I don't know if they're ever going to change anything. You know, if they would just put round wheels on it and like make it semi decent, like this would be epic to drive around. I would love to drive this thing around if it would just drove semi decent. Look how blocky the wheels are. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. But anyways, there's the cyber wagon. We went ahead. We got it. We did some things. Now, we also got the space elevator, which you guys saw in the last episode. Well, guess what else we got? We got a few things. We did some things on stream. Twitch.tv slash Gaming. if you're interested. Link down below. We went ahead. We unlocked the oil processing. We also unlocked everything else in all the other tiers just to make sure we we're good to go. Which included... The super amazing lightsaber stick, the bashing wand, if you will. And we even unlocked, my gosh, the Blade Runners, which requires the Caterium Ore. So we're going to be talking about that here in just a gif. Do not worry. So let's go ahead. Let's get some things started. Now, I got some things set up because we're going to be doing oil stuff today. We're going to be talking about oil stuff. We're going to be playing with it. It's a whole new beast. We're going to start it. We're going to get into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Power production. We are going to need, we're actually going to need, some we're gonna need a lot of piping and i don't know if we have power i think we have power what do i have in my inventory okay so i have these i have rods i have cables okay so we have power um i'm also gonna grab a water collector i'm also gonna grab a where is the organizational stuff i'm gonna grab a fluid buffer uh and then we're gonna need a bunch of foundations yeah we're gonna need a bunch of foundations so let's grab this stuff real quick uh let's see Firstly, some reinforced iron plate. Super easy, super amazing. Super fantastically amazing. Now, um, we have... I let my factory run for quite a while, so we have a lot of stuff. We already have the 2,500 of these... Uh, what are these? The, the versatile frameworks. We already have 2,500 of those in the space elevator, ready to go. Uh, and we are currently waiting some other stuff that I haven't even unlocked yet. So, that is how I actually got the tickets to do the things that we're doing. As you can see right now, we currently have two tickets available. I could go ahead. I could throw some of these in there, but I'm not going to because, well, there's no point right now. <laughs> there's there's zero point right now. So let me grab some of the reinforced plate deals on um, the storage right here. Now, we are actually working on expanding the factory because the factory is just not big enough. It's just not big enough, people. We are we're, we're just trying to cram so much into a tiny area. It's just not a good time. Like we definitely need to, uh, we need to change some things. So we're gonna start working on that in the future as well. Now I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of these. And what else? Okay, hold on, do I do I have rods? Okay, I have some rods. Not a lot. I think we'll be, do we have cables? We have cables. I think we'll be all right. I'm really hoping that I don't regret this. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna head on over to the area that we are working on this stuff in. And I want to show you along the way in case you guys are overplaying in the desert area where this stuff might be. We're gonna hop in this tube real quick. Go back up here. And I spent a very long time exploring some stuff. So we're gonna hop into this tube right here. This is gonna take us a very long ways. <laughs> it's quite a ways away. But I'm gonna have a second factory kind of built up over here in this area. There's a lot of nodes. A lot of things going on and there's a caterium caterium cat catrium caterium node that is uncovered it's not blocked by anything so you don't have to worry about blowing up anything and you can access it right away so i have a little separate factor deal over here as you can see look how far we went my gosh like i mean just so you have an idea like that's my factory over there 
So we are working on this area right here. We're going to bring things over. Now, I built this road going down this way. And we actually took the mountain route around that way. So we built a path all the way around, like around this part right here, because we were trying to get to the oil that you'll see shortly is like right on the other side of it. Cause it's like, oh, it's only like 900 away. Yeah, see 988. You have to go around the mountain. If you go over the mountain, you'd be fine. But we went around it and it was super far away. So we actually went to these ones over here that are only 1300 away, but it's more of a straight shot. It's a little bit better for us because if we're going to set up any kind of automation, any kind of trucks or anything like that, it's just going to be a whole lot easier. So I'm going to head over that way. Uh, and to give you an idea, like that's where I started. This is where I'm at waterfall. And I'm literally going to head straight this way and I'll bring you back once we get closer. All right. So we got a wonderful little factory over here. Now, I originally was heading towards the oil because there's crude oil right on the other side of these mountains, like right over, right over in this area. Uh, you'll see it here in just a second right there. I was heading over there and we looked over and would you know it? There's a Caterium node right here. So we went ahead, we threw up a little area, we threw up some stuff. We got some, uh, some research going on those or not research. We got some smelting going on those. And actually these are going as fast as they can, but they can't even keep up. My gosh, there's so many. How much wire do we have? Holy quick wire. My gosh, it's amazing. So I set up this little area. It's fantastic. It's a good little area. So if you're looking for the for the Caterium stuff, that's where you can find it. We set up that. We did the research. We did all the fun stuff. But the area in which I'm actually going to go ahead and do the fuel refinery oil stuff, I think we're going to fill in this area right here with foundations. And we're actually going to bring it all the way up here. And the reason for this is because if you saw, there was a waterfall on the other side of this thing. <laughs> we're we're going to try to tap the waterfall at the top. And we're going to see if we can't use gravity to, to bring the water down because you do actually need some water with the uh, well, you don't need it, but it's going to be beneficial for the new oil stuff. So we're going to check that out, but I want to show you where the oil actually is. Now, there's one group of uh, nodes. I think there's what four over here. And there's also another three. If you keep following this valley around, there's actually three that are like like in shallow water. So that would have been a, a like an ideal spot, but it was so far away. And I was just like, you know what? Nope, mm -mm, mm -mm. we're going to go with this spot right here. Now, the issue that we're going to run into is that this is now a liquid. So we're going to have to deal with pipes. We're going to have to deal with pumps. We're going to have to deal with taking it uphill and over there, but that's okay. I think it's going to be worth it in the end. I set up this little area because I was originally going to put stuff here, but I was like, you know what? I think we should just take it up there bring water in and call it a day so here are the oil nodes we're gonna go after um ugh. i don't think i really want to fight these guys right now I, do, I i don't i don't want to fight these guys right now it's it's not gonna happen it's not gonna be a thing so let's go ahead and let's get let's get some plumbing in here i want to run these pretty much straight up here like this but we have three of them so i got to keep that in mind all right let's try that so we're gonna bring one there and then they also added, if you guys didn't know, there was there was a patch stuff, right? So if you go to Q or to build mode, so I'm just going to go to like deconstruct mode, not Q, sorry, F. You can middle click and it'll select the item that's there currently. Uh, so we're actually going to bring this guy up like right here. And we're going to go ahead and turn it facing like right here. Pipe is too long. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Pipe is too long. Okay, what if we did this? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're going to try that because <laughs> that's where the pipe's at. Uh, we're going to bring this guy right here. And we're actually going to... No, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to do that. I want to turn it. All right, so we're going to turn this pipe like this. And then we're going to bring this pipe up like this. So we have to put pumps on these. And the pumps are going to allow us to go up 20 meters, which is approximately five of these large foundations because each one of these large foundations is four meters so one two three four five that should take us up five and then we should do another five that should take us up another five but we also have to go up these so i think i don't think these are going to be able to reach up here i wanted to put pumps right here but i don't, I don't think it's going to work i think it's going to require a little bit of uh shenanigans i also do not know if we can use the stackers themselves to, to stack these three high and then put pumps on them additionally so that's why i'm not trying that right now i don't think it's a thing for us so there's those now let's go ahead let's grab all right pipeline pump 
So I need three of these bad boys. And I want to put them up pretty high. I want to put one like right there. Uh, this one's not going to work here, is it? Oh. Oh, it is actually. I'm going to put one there. And I want to put one right here. So those three hopefully, hopefully will grab. I'm hoping that these will at least output to right here. And these will pump it up uh, this far. And then we can use another pump at the bottom of this one and then one like halfway up. That's the goal. Now, I know this doesn't look the greatest, but I think it's the best with what we got right now. Currently, I, I think it's going to work the best so far. Oh, my gosh. I'm out of iron plates. Are you kidding me? That's what I'm out of is iron plates. Oh, my gosh. OK, well, you know what we have? We have some power brought in here. Let's get these things connected up here. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna throw a power pole right there just in case I want to build off of it. We're gonna bring that there. We're gonna run these up here and we're gonna get them all connected up. And I want to see if we even have made it thus far. All right. So that's connected up. We should see some power draw, some serious power draw a little bit more. Not terrible. All right. Let's go see what the pipes are looking like right now. I want to go check these out before I head all the way back just to get the metal plating because we can at least play with some of the pump stuff. Oh, actually, I don't have the pumps even hooked up at all. So if we see anything in the front in the top ones, that's going to be amazing. All right, let's see. Is there anything in these pipes? Zero. OK, anything in these? Zero. These should all be rocking and a rolling. Anything in these? Zero. Anything down here? Twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty six. So those might, they might do it. I feel like we might need to put them down here actually, because as you can see, like this line is full, this line is not. So I feel like we might actually need to throw the pumps down here a little bit further. Let's go ahead and connect them up to power. Let's just, you know, let's just play with it and see what happens here. Let me grab you and we're just going to go throw it there and let's do uh, one there, one there and one there. Let's see now zero. Okay. So these aren't actually pulling anything that's because they're not full so they have zero head pressure all right so let's take these guys out and let's check this okay so this is slowly filling up but what about down here Ooh. what down here interesting so these were full this one's full right here okay so we might actually have to throw them right here in order to get the pressure that we're going to need. Oh, this one's not even hooked. What? Oh, it's because I don't even have that one hooked up. Uh, hello there. Don't mind me. OK, so this one's filling up. Let's see if it fills up all the way, though. All right, so that one looks like it's filling up. No problem. This one's actually looking pretty good. Mmm, I'm just going to be close. I really should take that guy out, but I think I'm going to die in the process, so I don't know if I really want to. Oh, this one's actually looking pretty good. All right, so we're going to throw one here. Uh, let's throw one pump there. We'll throw one here and we'll throw one there. And then let's just bring a power line uh, right down here, right next to these guys. Power line, connect, connect and connect. OK, so this is supplying head lift. How much head lift is this actually supplying? This is playing eight right now. 20 is the max. So that means that that is going to allow it to rise up 20 meters to the top. So let's go ahead. Let's see what we got up here. OK, so that looks pretty good. How are these looking? I mean, they're filling up. How are they? How do they look up here, though? Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe maybe if we let it sit. I'm a little bit worried, though, like the rate of it. Whereas this is 50 something. So it looks like we might have to throw the next three right here. Well, I mean, these are 50 something now, too. It's just taking a little bit for them to get going. All right. So I think the best bet is probably going to be to throw three more of them. Uh, one, two and three. I think that's going to be our best bet. We'll go ahead and get that guy set up right there and then connect these up. No, what are you doing? My goodness. Stop that. No, stop it. All right, so one, two, and three. Okay, so those are providing 
how much head lift are those actually providing now our pipes aren't actually even hooked up to anything right now oh these are completely full oh this one doesn't look like it's doing too good that one's not 2.6 2.7 these might be up a hair too high because those can pump 20 so that would be roughly what uh one two three four five so these actually might have to go down by one to give us the head presser yeah those are gonna have to go down by one all right let's check that out what do we got here okay much better that looks better so we're at like a five head lift uh it'll probably be good here 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 okay so these all look good so we're gonna actually probably need we're gonna need at least two more uh, what's our power situation looking like? Okay, it's not terrible. What is that guy doing? He's moonwalking. He's just moonwalking forward straight over there. Now, these don't have anywhere to go. We're going to have to actually probably get... Ooh, let's go ahead and just add them to the uh, add them to this thing here. We're going to need at least... Let's see, that's three more. We're going to need at least probably three more. So I have enough for that, but I don't have enough for the plates themselves. You know what? We could just remove the supports. Let's just do that we'll just we'll just sneak the supports out all right so i got the oil pipes brought out to here now at one point i did start stacking them because they were like already uphill and let me you know what let's just go ahead and check it now if i put one here can i put one oh oh you can stack them well i suppose we know what we're doing now huh <laughs> i guess we're gonna go ahead and do a little uh little redesign because i would much rather have these stacked if i could than like this disgustingness over here well let me go ahead and get that fixed real quick all right so now down here i don't really care about these ones these ones can sit just like this that's completely fine with me so we will just start the uh the conveyor stackage right here and i guess we'll just go with oh gosh how do we want this i guess we could just have them like right at the edge or you know we gotta have one in otherwise it'll look super weird okay so now let's make sure we can connect all these with no issues so this one could go there this one there. oh see that's gonna cause an issue because that right there is so much higher than it was before eh, it'll be okay it'll be all right we'll figure it out all right so these are all nicely lined up for the most part they're not perfect but you know what they're a lot better than they were we just gotta see where we gotta put the pumps <laughs> because that's gonna be the trick also i think something got disconnected down here because let's see does it, are any of these flashing red these guys flashing okay so let's see that one's good there wait how do you not have any power that one two three four oh five hold on this one's not hooked up this guy was not hooked up okay so that should be good there now what are the odds that we're getting anything here oh actually that's not terrible how about this top one though not bad how about this one not bad either how about that one okay so these ones we can throw pumps on so that should work there and i'm just gonna literally throw another one right next to this and then i'm just gonna connect these up right here like a so all right how's that uh looks pretty good this top one is questionable at best yeah that top one the, the top one's not really doing so hot here we might need to throw it right here let's do that let's move that top one right here just because it's already on a steeper slope than the rest of them we'll throw that guy there uh and then connect it up and let's see how that's doing now how, how are you looking up here oh it's worse it's it's actually much worse why are you much worse you should be much better that one's like fantastic well these are completely full but still this guy should be able to that should allow hold on what's the pressure on this guy 4.24 now my question is i wonder if it's because of well those ones are both perfect on head lift what is going on here okay let's take this one out all right see now that one's fine i wonder if it's lower let's lower it down a little bit all right how are you now f lift is 4.5 oh it's raising a little bit weird 
That's the top one. This guy should be golden right here. Maybe they're too close. Let's put this one back over here and let's see what happens again. All right, so I'm not actually sure what's going on with those. These are all maxed out. How's this top one up here? Yeah, this one's not even maxed out. Okay. All right. Maybe we just need to move it way lower. It might be this initial, like, super high jump right there that's kind of killing it. All right, let's try it now. What does it look like? Uh, it's getting higher. Head lift is still not great. Bottom's good. Top is, uh, it's not that great. Wow, this is interesting. Yeah, that one can't keep up. What if we put it right here? Really weird though, because these two are very close to each other. Oh, head lift is much higher on this one. Much better. How's it up here though? All right, so we might need to throw an extra one right here for now. All right, so we're gonna leave that alone. Let's go, how, how are things up here? Still only halfway. I mean, it's filling up, but it's not like, these guys are completely maxed out right now. I mean, there's zero flow. But their current max in the pipe is is much better than what we had. All right, so let's throw uh, let's throw another set on right here. All right, how do these guys look? That top one is still lagging a little bit behind. But how high are we gonna have to go here? I feel like these are gonna drop off quick, especially that top one. What is with the top one? Okay, so we're gonna have to put pumps on right here too. Oh my gosh so many pumps required this top one's not gonna work and i'm actually i'm actually fresh out of rods too why do you hate me so much game <laughs> i don't know why uh and i don't think i have any iron or anything that i can make rods with unless i can make can i make the uh, caterium ones power pull no i need a rod go figure all right so we're getting the stuff ready for this uh let's go ahead let's actually place down these fluid buffers industrial fluid buffer this should hold this should hold oil for us so we have three separate lines let's go ahead and get three of these bad guys installed let's place them a little bit apart like this like that okay so we're gonna get these guys hooked up ready to go and hmm you know what we got to keep it organized so let's go ahead let's get the logistics let's get this these guys again and make all this stuff happen all right, perfect. So there's that one. Get these guys brought down to there. This one's gonna go into here. This one's gonna go right there. And then boom, okay. So once these guys start filling with oil, <laughs> we'll know we're kind of okay. <laughs> now the rates and things like that, we're gonna have to play with those as soon as like we start actually uh, demanding some oil for stuff and start like crafting stuff. But if I can get oil in there to start with that is a start we can always move pumps around and add more pumps take away pumps figure you know kind of figure things out so uh let's start off by getting some of these guys hooked up ready to go and i believe if i'm not mistaken that this was the last one right here so let's get another power line right there and then we'll go ahead and hook that one up that one that one and oh shoot okay i'm gonna need another one because i actually hooked up an additional one down here because i was like well we're gonna need it anyways all right and i think that was the last one on there and then you know what we're just gonna run this one because i have an extra spot on this guy we'll run to one of these and then we can use this guy right here to run to that one and that one and then these ones should in theory <laughs> Be the final ones oh we already have oil movement which is good i don't know if it's strong but i guess we're about to find out all right so let's try that how, how are we looking now oh my goodness it's moving it's moving all right they're all moving so that means we should in theory be filling up our tanks maybe hopefully I don't know if there's like a distance thing. Oh, geez. There's probably a distance thing, isn't there? These ones look good. So we might actually have to pull. Good gosh. We're going to have to add more. We're going to have to add more of those, uh, those, those pumps, aren't we? Because those don't look like they're moving very quick. Those ones look like they're moving even slower. Those ones don't even hardly look like they're moving at all. <laughs> Do we have anything in here yet? A tiny bit. The tiniest of bits. All right, so let's see where this drops off. We'll go ahead and add another another pump in here. My gosh. 
these ones don't look terrible honestly none of these actually look that great because like none of these pipes are actually even full they should all be full already are these full no not quite how about these nope these yes but these ones are not maybe i need to bring these ones down here all right how's that slowly filling up i mean these are filling up these are extremely slow these ones are non-existent oh my goodness how many pumps do we need this is insane i feel like my issue is actually down the pipeline because i feel like if we have them in the right spots then oh this one's only half full what's going on here completely full there half full there i feel like we just need them in the right spots like i feel like this one needs to be brought down to uh to like right here and then we just need to connect it and then what's your head lift because i feel like we need maximum head lift 20 m would be 20 meters right i would think so flow rate minimal i'm actually not sure i feel like we have these things like too close but the pipe needs to be full behind it in order for the pump to actually grab it and pump it up to the next one all right so this is the weird thing i took these pumps off these pipes filled up like um, insanely fast so maybe i have too many of them maybe i actually don't need these pumps right here so okay hold on let's see that one's good that one's good that one goes in the middle one yeah that one's actually good what's the head lift on this guy 16 okay let's take it off see what happens i mean it's it's not bad okay okay yeah yeah yeah. no that that was a good one that was a good, that, that was a good one see that's what's weird i put it right back where it was and now it doesn't have any head lift it has like very minimal Let's flush this pipe segment. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we get maximum head lift again. Yeah, it could be because we're not using any. Ah, uh, it's like 15, 16. It's not that great. All right, so this one is another example. This guy's low. That's filling up now. I think I'm going to have to wait and really play with it once we... Once we actually have some some demand on it, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So I I think we're gonna have to wait. I'm I'm gonna look into this a little bit more because like I can't quite put my finger on it of what's actually going on here. Cause some of these pipes are full. Like these are full. I'm not actually sure. Because this top one, I cannot, I cannot get this thing to fill up. I've put pumps on it, I've taken pumps off, I've spaced them out, I've respaced them and i just can't get it to be quite right now i know the head pressure is essentially how far it's going to be able to lift it and the the ability that it has to lift it so as you can see like these aren't doing too hot this one i mean this one's only 9.1 and but it's not full either so i don't know i'm gonna look into it if you guys have any ideas leave a comment down below i'm super curious um i know they have like a handy dandy little cheat sheet on reddit so i'm probably gonna check that guy like this one these ones are completely full so i'm actually kind of curious if our tanks ever filled up i definitely gotta look into it a little bit more next episode we will hopefully get it all figured out and we will hopefully get some water in here and we can actually start the refining of the oil and making plastics and all that fun stuff and i can tell you right now that whole shenanigan stuff is well i mean these are completely full these have been running for a while though these have all been running for a while so i don't know how demand is going to change it maybe it just takes a while i mean these are full they are full this one's empty so we'll have to play with that one we'll have to see what happens but um yes thank you guys for coming out hopefully you enjoyed the episode learning experience for both of us but we'll be back we'll be playing some more do not worry do not fret if you did enjoy the episode like subscribe all the fun things links to all the socials down below or down down below or down down below twitter discord twitch all the things but uh yes thank you for coming out have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next one